I'm Janet. I'm a volunteer with Round Rock Arts. I am also a member of the Waterloo Watercolor Group and have an exhibit here that's currently showing at this downtown art gallery. I've also shown work across the street at the library and down the street at the Vodka Center and right outside the door in Free Plaza. I really miss downtown Round Rock and I'm really glad to be back with masks and social distancing it's good to enjoy that wonderful sense of fun and spirit that you find in downtown Round Rock. So I'm happy to be back. In fact, I was looking on, have y'all been doing that virtual uh, museum tours? I don't know if y'all have done any of that. I was looking at some prehistoric art the other day and it seems that prehistoric man would take any medium available to them like um, oxides and uh, ochres that they found in the dirt on their feet, mix it with things like water or spit or blood or tree sap and make a pigment that would adhere to cave walls because man needs to communicate. It needs to say, I am here for both the viewer and the maker of the art. It's a communication. And so today, I'm gonna to give a shout out to one of my favorite Round Rock businesses, Star Coffee, by showing you how to make a painting using coffee. Because my advice during COVID is, don't be depresso, have an espresso. It will help a latte. I love coffee. And uh, it's one of my top three morning rituals. In fact, the joke at my house is, I would unplug your life support in order to make a pot of coffee. I went to the doctor the other day and I said, doctor, every time I drink coffee, I get this stabbing pain in my eye. And she suggested I take the spoon out of the cup. Today, I'm gonna to paint with coffee. What you need is a piece of paper, a paintbrush, and coffee. And you don't even need a lot of coffee. I just put a few spoonfuls in a small container and that's all I need to paint with and I just drink the rest of the coffee. So in order to paint with coffee, the first thing I do is paint the paper with plain water. Right where I am going to paint with the coffee because this helps the coffee go on to the paper in a nice, smooth, and even way. So once I've, I've, I've painted with water and let it dry for a few minutes, then I can go back in and paint with the coffee. And it just moves into the paper nice and smooth. Watercolor paper has a sizing on it. And once you put the water on it, it dissolves the sizing, the sizing lifts back up, and then after it dries, the sizing will reactivate and it will hold that pigment, which in this case is water, on the paper. And I get a nice smooth look. Now if I want to have some color variations in my coffee, I use a little instant coffee to darken my pigment. So let's put a little darker underneath here. Little paint, little darker pigment. See, it's darker because it has the instant coffee in there. Goes on really pretty. I wanna paint this cup it has more dimension. So I might leave this area in the front here white and move my coffee only onto the sides. Now I think I painted this painting, which I'm using the same drawing here, in one evening. So it's, it wasn't a long time. It didn't take a lot of drawing time or anything else to get my coffee painting done.
And then if I want it darker, I let it dry for a few minutes and then I can go back in those areas that I think ought to be darker. I can just throw some more coffee in them. Now see this handle, I haven't put any water on it and so I can still paint into the paper without water on it and get that nice effect of dimension. And as it dries, this, this, paint, this uh, coffee will spread out a little and even up a little bit. This is supposed to be a chocolate chip cookie. Now you can see I have coffee and my plain water is, has got the coffee in it, so it's not as plain water as it used to be. But I can drop my little drops of color in there and get something going. And after it dries a little bit, I can go back in and sharpen up my edges and everything. Then of course, when you have this stuff done, you wanna put a little shadow under everything so I can go along underneath and put a little shadow, add a little dimension, make it seem like it's sitting right there on the paper. You know what you call it when somebody tries to steal your coffee? A mugging. So all in all, it doesn't take long before you can paint with coffee. And you know the best thing about painting with coffee? It smells like coffee. So let me leave you with this. Try painting with coffee. It's a lot of fun. Just make sure you take your paintbrush out of the cup before you drink the coffee.